face-off between two of the world's superpowers, Russia and the United States in a chess game filled with tension tonight. U.S. soldiers arrive in Lithuania for military exercises Saturday. Soldiers walking around here, uh, we saw dozen light tanks driving past uh, this field camp heading towards the border, and it did feel like a, a sense of heightened uh, military tension. The military in Ukraine has said that separatists have shot down a government fighter jet near the rebel-held city of Luhansk in the east of the country. Ukraine's protests were initially sparked by the government's decision last year to reject a trade pact with the European Union, at least going forward with it. And then later, Russia agreed to an aid package for Ukraine with close in the ties between Moscow and Kiev. Пищу и на прогулку жители бункера выходят в небольшой внутренний дворик, хотя рядом находится большой парк, но никто за ворота не выходит, так как обстрелы осуществляются. Russian President Vladimir Putin warned of consequences today as Ukraine's government attempted to regain control of the eastern part of the country. To the United RT's Nations, Vitaly Churkin, Ambassador Churkin. Lithuanian President Alei Griboskaitė. ABC's Martha Radif is traveling with the Secretary of State, and she is standing by. And ABC's chief foreign Hello, correspondent. Welcome. Thank you for you? being. Thank you very much. We're well as we are concerned, as I am sure you are, about the situation in Ukraine right now. What is your perspective? Well, we are extremely concerned, of course, because uh, uh, the, we need a stable and prosperous Ukraine. Well, first of all. Uh, we think that this uh, attempt to, to execute a violent coup should stop.